unfortunately it looks like our old friend P053E crankcase pressure If you watched the last video, you'll remember we came across a bit of an oddity in the wiring of blow-by pressure sensor number one. And if you didn't watch the last video, go back and watch it because this will make a lot more sense. This time we're going to dig into the wiring a little bit more and see if we can figure out if that is causing the problem. Let's start this process again by unplugging pressure sensor number one and looking at the plug wiring. Here we can see that from the yellow side of the plug, the wires go green, black, red. And this correlates to green on pin 3, black on pin 2, and red on pin 1. Good, right? Well, let's check that against what we can find in the diagnostics and the wiring diagram, man. Something seems off here. ECU pin 9 is voltage, 28 is signal, and 59 is ground. Then pin 3 should be red, pin 2 should be green, and pin 1 should be black. Right? What's going on here? Well, this isn't making any sense at all. The truck wouldn't have worked properly if the wiring was wrong for the last nine years, but I do know that there was a recall that replaced a harness and maybe it hasn't worked properly since then. Maybe it is worth trying to repin this plug and make the wiring match what's in the manual. If this is indeed what is causing the problem, we need to move all three wires. In order to do this, we slide the inner yellow clip to the side and fabricate a special service tool from a hammered paperclip to remove and rearrange the pins from this to this. And let's try this whole thing again. And unfortunately it looks like our old friend P053E. If only I had an identical truck that I could take. Hey Pierre Carl, can you send me a picture of the sensor in your truck? Well, his truck is wired just like mine. Guess it's not the wiring. So if this isn't a wiring issue, maybe it is a sensor issue. Let's pull both of them out and check them. Both sensors appear the same and they're both measuring the same, so it's unlikely, but I'll swap the upper and lower just to see if the problem shows up differently with them in different positions. For clarification, I don't have the actual resistance ranges for these sensors, so I can only compare them to each other. Not so good. Quick little recap here. Lower sensor was loose, did not solve the problem. Upper sensor, potentially wired wrong, did not solve the problem. Swap the upper and lower sensors, problem didn't move. So where do we go from here? Well, it seems I still have some more digging to do and if you have any ideas, post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them. That's all I have for this time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.